lady from St. Louis City. When I first got here, I was a staunch Democrat. I went to Speaker Rod Jetton at the time, and I said, Rod Jetton, you just enjoy it while it lasts because the Democrats are going to take over this chamber. Well, lo and behold, my first piece of legislation that I brought up in 2006, it was the Democrats that killed it. <laughs> at that point, I realized I wasn't going to be that staunch Democrat that I thought I was going to be. I turned into something like a bipartisan type individual, an individual that truly understood the importance of working across party lines. And I was able to get things done. The first Democrat in my class of 2006 that passed legislation out of the House under the control of the Republican House, the Republican Senate, and not to mention the Republican governor. And it was the A-plus scholarship. At that time, children were placed in an unaccredited school district to no fault of their own. And I thought that it was just a shame to punish those students because of the administration. So I rose up and I filed my legislation and, and that piece of legislation came to the floor and it passed overwhelmingly. And it went over to the Senate and they attached an amendment to that bill. And when it got back over here, the teachers union, we haven't, we haven't been friends since. Local 420, they said, that's a voucher's bill, let's kill that bill. So they went around to all of the Democrats and they said, Jamila's pushing vouchers. We should kill her bill. Yep, yeah, they killed it. But guess what? There was an old time political player here that came to me and said, Jamila, learn the rules, sweetie. Motion to reconsider, go look it up. So I'm learning a lot in 2006. Motion to reconsider. We found the guy that voted against it. Michael Brown, Representative Brown, should I say. He voted to reconsider the bill, the bill passed, and that was the first bill I passed out of, out of the House. Then I was just a freshman. I was very angry at that point at my colleagues, Democratic colleagues. I'm telling you, I didn't cut a deal at all. The next bill came up, and do I regret it to some extent? yes, I do, was campaign limit finance. Now, I didn't cut a deal. I was just upset. The Democrats needed to kill that bill. It was clearly a partisan bill. And so I'm looking up. It's 81 votes. I hit the, bit, I hit the button, boom, 82. Paula Volta comes down. Jamila, don't do it, don't do it. I said, well, where were you when I needed you? He said, well, I was with you. I said, well, if the body is in order, the head will follow. If the head is in order, the body will follow. Make the long story short, I had a very rough time with my Democratic colleagues. But I would like to say to each and every one of those that are coming in, follow your heart. If you're able to work across party lines, not at the expense of selling your soul to the devil, not at the expense of selling your district out, then do so. Bipartisanship is what we are lacking in this country and in this state. And at some point, we have, we have to get back to it. So I would encourage the new legislators, think about the importance of bipartisanship and we can go a long way here in the state of Missouri. Thank you. I, I'd like to say uh, thank you to...